For over a century, women have been fighting for their places in the graphic design industry. In the 1920s, the suffragettes fought for their right to vote through the use of graphic design. In the 1940s, C.P. Pinellas became the first woman to join the previously all-male New York Art Directors Club. And in the 1960s, Muriel Cooper founded MIT Media Lab and taught a new generation of designers to embrace the digital age. Unfortunately for Australia, however, things stagnated pretty quickly. In 1989, ACTA's first national executive meeting was attended by a completely male audience. In the 1990s, 90% of art director and copywriter positions were being held by men. Thankfully though, the mid-2000s saw more women, 63% to be exact, graduating with design degrees. We know that women now make up 70% of all students studying graphic design, yet 60% of the industry remains male-dominated. Because of surveys run by Design Council, we know that not a whole lot has changed over the last decade. That because only 11% of design leadership roles are being held by women, 89% of the challenge still remains. There's a huge lack of recognition within the graphic design industry, but there are people and organisations out there that are trying to make a difference. The 3% movement is an annual conference that strives to create awareness and to bring more women into director and senior positions. They advertise new jobs on the website specifically for directorial roles and are constantly challenging businesses to change how they view women in the workplace. Another organisation looking to resolve this issue is Kerning the Gap. KTG is a collective of like-minded people who want to see more women in design leadership roles hear their voices and be inspired to create change. It was founded by Nat Mayer, who says that the further I've advanced in my career, the more I found myself looking around and asking, hang on a minute, where have all the women gone? All throughout the year, Kerning the Gap runs various events, ranging from individual speakers and panel events to running a mentoring scheme that aims to help and empower women to rise within the design industry. I mentioned in the previous video that I believe the core of this issue is the lack of representation. For young women studying design, there isn't a diverse range of designers to reference to when most of the designers that students are being taught about are men. To help break this issue down further, I spoke to Ellen Lupton. Ellen Lupton is a graphic designer, writer, and curator. She has been the curator of contemporary design at Cooper Hewitt National Design Museum since 1992, is the director of the Graphic Design MFA program at Maryland Institute College of Art, as well as director of the Center for Design Thinking. In 2007, she won the Iger Gold Medal, one of the highest honors given to graphic designers and design educators in the US. And if that's not enough, she is also the author of multiple books, including, but not limited to, Thinking with Type, Graphic Design, The New Basics, and Indie Publishing, How to Design and Produce Your Own Book. I wanted to know what Alan's experiences with this issue were, if she had a wide exposure to female creatives while studying, and what it was like entering the industry. When I went to art school in the early mid-1980s, I did not have many, if any, female design teachers. There were important women teaching in printmaking, sculpture, and art history, however. The art historian Rosalind Krauss has been a big influence on me. She is an astonishing writer, curator, critic, and theorist of art. I was able to take several classes with her in the Art History PhD program at City of New York Graduate Center in the early 90s. I continue to refer to her work and be hugely inspired by her way of thinking. At the CUNY Graduate Center, I was also influenced by Rosemary Bletter, an outstanding historian of modern architecture and design. It's clear that the lack of representation in classrooms and educational institutes isn't exactly a recent problem. As professional creatives, women have never been given much of a chance or the recognition that they deserve, so there is very little information accessible to students. As a woman working in a range of director and leadership roles, Ellen knows firsthand how hard you have to work entering the design industry, saying, I had to work very hard to achieve my goals, but I feel very lucky that my hard work has been supported and recognised. We spoke about the importance of bringing more women into the workplace and what it means for the next generation of women that will be entering the graphic design industry. I want my wonderful female students to have great opportunities and equal pay. As more women take leadership roles, more women will get hired. It's very simple. Today I work with wonderful women. At Cooper Hewitt, our director is a woman, and most of the curators are too. Our educational staff is primarily women. 
It's a good feeling when you know that you are solving a problem or completing a challenging task based on past experience. I've solved this before and I know what to do. However, unexpected challenges keep coming. You were never experienced in everything. Of course, I couldn't end the conversation without asking for advice, specifically advice for women that are experiencing adversity within the industry. It is important to have a network of friends and supporters. Your peer group is especially important. It's great to have an older mentor or leader to help you, but the greatest support comes from those who share your situation. The best thing is you can help them too. Being generation is important too. I always try to share credit, acknowledge my collaborators, and seek opportunities to elevate others, not just myself. In the end, this pays off for everyone. I have never regretted sharing a project or thanking someone publicly. With that in mind, I cannot thank Ellen Lofton enough for having this discussion with me. Because of conversations like this, we can see what needs to change and we know what helps. Supporting the women around you and recognizing their hard work is what will bring more women into creative director and leadership roles. Having discussions like this with your peers, teachers, or even your boss are what helps bring more awareness to the issue. Change starts in the classroom. We can teach more people about what women have done and continue to do for the graphic design industry and what it means to the young women studying design to see that representation.